So I have transferred my program to my Arduino and I have set up this circuit similar to what we have on Tinkercad. So I've got the ultrasound sensor here. The pins are connected to the power supply and to the pins on the Arduino here. And then from pin four, I've taken an out and I have attached it via a resistor to this LED. So let's test this sensor. Uh, right now there is no object in front of the ultrasound sensor so the LED is not glowing and then I'm going to bring my hand here and as soon as I bring my hand here the LED it glows and if I move this then it stops glowing. So when an object comes close to the sensor the LED glows and if I switch on the serial monitor, then uh, right now it's saying it's safe to move forward and the LED is not glowing. But if I bring my hand here, then the LED gl uh, glows and the message is the object is too close. Let's make one final change in our circuit and our program. So on Tinkercad, I'm going to uh, go and I'm going to add a buzzer. So I'm going to get a piezo buzzer. So I've got the buzzer here and then I'm going to connect the uh, negative side of the buzzer to the ground and I'm going to bring out another pin. Let's say pin five and pin from pin five. I'm going to get a wire and I'm going to connect it to to the other terminal of my buzzer. And then I'm going to go into code. So in my code, I'm also going to set pin five high. So I'm going to get another pin here, drop it here. And I'm going to say set pin five high if the distance is less than 60 and set this pin low if the distance is less than is greater than 60. And this is on pin five. Uh, we can also add more things to the serial monitor. So just to show you, um, I'm going to uh, on the serial monitor, I'm going to bring another serial monitor command and um, I can, for example, uh, print the distance. So I'm just going to duplicate this variable and I'm going to say print distance. And in both cases, we want to see exactly what the distance is. So it should say the distance and then give that message based on how close the object is. And finally, I'm just going to add a little weight. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to add a uh, maybe a milliseconds and I'm going to add a 500 millisecond weight and I'm going to add another 500 millisecond weight here. So this is our, our final program and I'm going to go to blocks and text. I'm going to copy this whole code, come to my Arduino IDE, delete the current code, paste this code validate the code. It's compiling the sketch. There are no errors. So I'm going to transfer it to my Arduino. And now I'm going to open the serial mo monitor here. And it is saying the distance is around 274 and it's saying it's safe to move forward. And if I bring my hand, then my LED glows. And I, I know that the distance is now between eight or 10. And it's I'm getting the message. The object is too close. Uh, and then finally, because we added a buzzer, so we made one more pin high pin five. So I'm going to add a buzzer to our circuit. So I've got an active buzzer here. Active buzzer means that I can, I have these two positive and negative terminals and I can simply attach them. So I'm going to attach the ground to the ground. And I'm going to get another pin and I'm going to attach uh, another jumper cable here and I'm going to connect my buzzer here. So now when there is no object, it's all clear, safe to move forward, distance is greater than 60. And when there is an object, the LED lights up and the buzzer also goes off. So I hope with that you understand how to use the ultrasound sensor 
now you can use your imagination and figure out what can you use this sensor for to make some interesting projects